look like Christmas. Yeah, it's a little dark. Good morning. Welcome to today's video. I totally meant to record this last week, like right after we announced, but that did not happen. So here we are. Pregnancy Q&A. We'll start off with this question because someone asked, how how do you keep a straight face <laughs> in the last Q&A? I'm a trained actor. Um, if, you did, if you guys didn't know, I went to acting school <laughs> for in New York City for a couple of years. I just didn't, you know, it wasn't my thing. Acting. How was that? What is that? You know the, the guy? Acting. Acting. I, nope. Alright, moving on. There's a lot of questions. There was also a ton of repeats. We'll start off with, a, like, I feel like half the people asked, were we trying? Yes, we were trying. We were trying. This was planned. This was not an accident. Yeah. It's not a happy little accident, as Bob Ross would say. This yeah. was <laughs> planned. Given your ovarian cyst scare last year, how'd you know you were ready currently in that situation? I talked to my doctor. That was another question. Someone asked if I met with my OB prior in like the birth control situation. I did meet with my doctor beforehand, which kind of just gave me peace of mind. I don't know if you had a preference on that, but I kind of wanted to know if I had been off birth control long enough. The ovarian cyst thing, like they're so common. I didn't realize how common they were, but that was definitely in the back of my head. I'm like, if I'm prone to cysts, I also don't want to like... I, I feel know. like that may have delayed the process a little bit. It did delay it a little bit. Yeah, because I did get back on birth control. But it was, I was ready in like January this year. And then when everything happened with his brother passing away, I had really bad anxiety and was struggling a little bit mentally. And it just like, the fear of the world like flipped that switch off for me. And then I had the cyst stuff. And then randomly, I feel like when the switch came back on, I was like, I'm ready. The plan from the beginning was to do it two years after our wedding anniversary or yeah. at our second wedding to start anniversary trying. to start trying. Yeah. And we were pretty much well, that that's what that's ended pretty up pretty much happening. what happened. For a while we were thinking about going sooner and then we we wanted to do some traveling this year because mm -hmm. we couldn't do it last year. Yeah. So I don't know, everything just kind of fell into place. It's not like we forced it. He was definitely he's been ready for a while. That's been very clear. Yeah. He was just kind of letting me get there on my own. And that <laughs> light switch went back on for me. I was it went from like I don't know if I'll ever feel ready to like wow, I want to start a family moment you knew when to take a pregnancy test. We were both planning on taking the test later than we did. Yeah. We found out in Utah. Well, she she didn't know that there was tests where you could find out before your missed period. I thought it was six days after yeah. your missed period. And when we were in Utah, we were there with all of my I just, close I friends. I assumed she knew, so I yeah. just wasn't pushing it. But We were there with all my close friends, so they a lot of them knew that we were trying. And also knew that we could possibly be pregnant and they were talking about it so much i'm like oh man now i want to see because they were like oh no it's six days before your missed period and i was like well, we well that to, changes everything the one person we talked to has five kids and loves pregnancy and was just talking about how much she loves pregnancy <laughs> then she was like i have pregnancy tests yeah. you can go take one and i was like no it's fine and then we we're on the way home and i was like i think i want to take one so we went and got some the next morning but <laughs> yeah which that was an interesting situation in itself. If I would have taken that test a day later than I did, our finding out process would have been a lot different, which it is what it is. It was just a little bit more of an emotional roller coaster. Or if I even, if I took a different test first, because the clear blue ones were no for like four days yeah. after the first response were like clear yes. Yeah. So, oh, this kind of goes along with that first sign symptom that made you think you were pregnant. I, even after I got that negative test, I was so bloated. And I already kind of talked about this, but I wasn't having like, I was late for my period, which I'm normally not. I'm normally like pretty on the dot. I track my period and like ovulation through the Flow app that's free. And I'm never usually late. I'm within a day before or after it predicts I'm going to. So that was already kind of suspicious. And I was super bloated, but I didn't have any cramps. And I always have really bad cramps the day before and the day of my period. So that I was like, something's going on. He didn't realize I took as many tests as I did. <laughs> I was upstairs just peeing on sticks left and right. <laughs> Biggest change you've noticed since becoming pregnant? 
that you can answer this for me. Energy levels are way down. So down. And stomach pain. I mean, all the normal morning sickness, which... Yeah, people, not morning. It's not it's a great. It's not a great term for what it is. Cause it's, At least yeah. mine has been. A lot of people say they do experience the worst in the morning. Well, yours has been worse at night, hasn't it? Typically, it's been different the past couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, kind of just that, it was. I mean, from week whatever seven and a half to like eleven, it was literally from morning to night. I just felt like I had the flu. I was super tired. Just like one thing didn't hurt in particular. I just overall did not feel well, and then recently it's changed a little bit this is a little side note when we went for the first ultrasound they told me my uterus was tilted backwards which kind of freaks me out in the beginning but she said it's common in like 30 percent of women if you tend to feel your period cramps in your back that usually means that you have a tilted uterus or whatever so anyway on the way out i was like is this something I should like not be worried about, but like plan for, for like delivery? Is that going to change things? And she cut me off immediately and she was like, it, nope, nothing to worry about. doesn't change anything. Super common. It will probably flip back on its own or tilt back. And I was like, oh, okay. Didn't think to ask if that would be painful at all. Well, we don't know if that's I, what no, caused I don't, it. No, I don't know if that's what caused it, but uh, it... They were able to find, like, I can, they can now get the heartbeat just by a Doppler, which before they couldn't do. Even, like, the ultrasound they had to do internal because the baby was sitting further back. I think that's what's been causing me some pain, but it seems like things have adjusted to accommodate that now, so we're good. But, um, yeah, just really tired, and I was definitely not expecting the morning sickness to be like an all-day fiasco <laughs> but we're almost towards the end of the first trimester so hoping for a boy or a girl slash what do you think it is there's this is like the other half of the questions not hoping for anything no hoping particular. for a healthy baby expecting i think it's a girl i don't know I'm not, i don't know i don't have a feeling this way or that way I really don't. I don't he have a calls feeling. it a boy, though. Call it a boy because I grew up in a family with <laughs> all boys. Yeah. But one. So that's just natural. Yeah. And I'm a boy. It's more natural for me to just say he. It is interesting since I've been, like, talking more openly about my symptoms and everything on Instagram. People are, they're like, oh, I felt that way and I had a boy. Oh, I felt that exact same way and I had a girl. So it's like, obviously it's a 50-50 chance. We oh, are going to do goodness. like the old wives tale, all those little fun tests. And we'll just kind of take tally and see what that says. Yeah, no, just hoping for a healthy bit. How'd you tell Chris? We were doing it together, but I had you come up and no look at that way. last test because I started seeing the faint We looked lines. at the first one together and then she kept taking more without me knowing and then she just had me look at that. Because I saw a faint line. I was like... And then he's on his phone. He's like, a line's a line. <laughs> a is. line's a line. We're not going to get too excited, but a line's a line. Yeah, it is. So no, no special way. Yeah. When will you know the gender? We slash she opted in for the panorama blood test. Yeah, just to like make sure everything's fine. So we sent baby. that in and we're waiting the results. So it could be in the next few days. Yeah, we were kind of hoping to do just like a very casual gender reveal at the Christmas Eve party since most of our family is going to be together. So my mom would find out the results for us. She's not going to be here this year. Um, but she would like order little poppers or a little balloon, whatever. So it would be a surprise for everyone here. But that's going to depend on when the test results come back. Yeah. It's already been like a little over a week. So it could be any day. Did you do anything to prep for pregnancy? I had the meeting with my doctor. I started taking the prenatal, the Bomar prenatal, a month and a half before we started trying. And that's why I would recommend talking to your doctor if you know you're gonna try to conceive because I think it just gives you a little peace of mind knowing that- You're doing everything you yeah, can. Yeah, you're doing everything you can and like, you don't really start to think about how complicated the process is or start to think like, oh man, what if, what if there is a problem until you get to that point of starting to try, at least that was kind of us. And doctors, at least hopefully your doctor is very reassuring and like, don't overthink it. She was like, try to have fun with it in the beginning. Like if, you know, if there is any issues, like we'll get that, we'll get to that point when we get there. But for now, like everything's good on both your ends and you're doing everything you can do. So she gave me like a little way to 
try around ovulation basically but yeah she said like avoiding hot tubs avoiding the sauna because that's not good for eggs or sperm and limiting obviously like limiting alcohol trying if you're trying just to basically not drink and then limiting caffeine as well but yeah i was taking the prenatal like right away what's been the most frustrating thing or the best thing and most frustrating thing my life has not changed so <laughs> This is all kind of, you have me moping around all the time. Well, yeah. I mean, she's sick often, which isn't fun. I feel like we're getting for her. that. The best thing for you? The best thing for me? Just knowing there's a little guy in there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I say little guy. Yeah. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I don't care. So, the most frustrating thing is just having watching me go through. Yeah, watching yeah. you not be, not be yourself. Yeah. The best thing currently is that we kind of, I mean... You know, knock on wood, stuff can always happen, but miscarriages are so common in the first trimester and like that was the first hurdle. So currently that's the best part to me is that like we're still doing good, baby's heartbeat sounds good. Oh, I guess telling our family. That would probably be oh, like the well, best thing. Yeah. Okay, I guess I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, telling our yeah. family. But yeah, most frustrating thing is not having the energy. Like even on the days where I feel good, I, I like get so ahead of myself and I try to get a bunch done. For yesterday, I <laughs> laid down upstairs, fell asleep immediately, and was asleep for three hours. So that's a little frustrating, but then I just remind myself, you know, you gotta kind of accommodate what the little human is doing, and it needs to grow. So any names in mind? We have our girl name. Yeah, we've had our girl. girl name for quite a uh, while. We haven't decided yet on a boy name. Which is interesting, because it's the same. we have some ideas. It's the same with dogs. <laughs> We have a girl name. I don't know why we struggle. Boy names are hard because my family took a lot of boy names. His family took a lot of boy names. I have a lot of boy man friends. Yeah. And so those names most of the time are off the because they yeah. just remind you of someone. Unless yeah. that's the point, but that's not the point with us. We do have some boy names that we've kind of agreed that we like, but none that we're like set on. How have you been feeling? Sick and tired. <laughs> But I do have good days, and I feel like I'm getting to the better part. What are you most excited about during pregnancy? I'm super excited to have, like, a full-blown belly and to feel feel the baby kick. That would be it for me. I yeah. feel like that's going to be the first time it really feels real. Yeah. I'm also super excited for the whole kicking thing. Lily always lays on my stomach, and I am oh. so excited to see yeah. what her reaction is. <laughs> What is it? Yeah, what is happening? She um, may not know. She's experienced it. Exactly, yeah. I don't know. Are you going to keep working out? There's a lot of working out questions if I've had to change it. I will definitely keep working out. All of the apps I have, my all the doctors I've talked to, my doctor. Well, I've met with three different doctors now. But like my main doctor, all of them recommend staying active. Anything you were doing while you were trying to conceive is safe to do at least in the first trimester unless your doctor tells you otherwise. Usually being active, although it doesn't feel like you have the energy for it or it doesn't seem like it's going to help, once you get up and start moving, Nine times out of ten, it does seem to give you a little bit more energy. And overall, you need to be in good shape to literally push out a human. So, yeah, all the doctors I've talked to have really recommended it. But it's definitely like a, I work out when I can, at the intensity I can, usually very low. <laughs> Last night we went down and I did, I did three exercises. I think it was 25 minutes, and that was good for the day. Cravings and aversions. You wouldn't say I've really had any aversions. Uh, sweets. Like candy. Like she won't eat our candy right now. Someone asked about that. Are you craving your candy even more? I have been craving all of the salty stuff. Everything salty. Sweet stuff has not sounded good. However, I have realized if I eat it, it tastes good to me. It's not something where I'm like, oh, that sounds delicious. Sweet stuff has not sounded good at all. Even my ice cream, which is super weird yeah. to me. But yeah, I've been craving like all the salty stuff. Baby's due date. June 25th. June 25th. Congrats. Have you made any lifestyle changes since finding out? Aside from workout? Just that and, well... Overall doing things less. You, things, <laughs> things you can't eat. Oh my I gosh. Did. I did not realize there was so much... And that's what my mom and Chris's mom have said. Obviously things have evolved since they were pregnant and had kids. But they have... There's so much more research on food and like all the different recommendations on what to avoid, how to eat certain things. That was something, I mean, I expected like the lunch meat thing, but I don't, I don't know, there's other stuff. If you really look into it, like 
It's Go just ahead. more complicated. <laughs> yeah, it's just more complicated. So I just look up like everything before I eat it. Have you started on the nursery yet? Yeah, I started. She's purchased things. I purchased things because be everything's so delayed. It's gonna take first, six months to get here. I so. was gonna order like the nursery set at the end of this month or maybe like January, and I thought I was like, I, I hope like I wonder if I'm like thinking too far ahead on that. I went to, I just like added the stuff I wanted to the cart and it wasn't gonna, it said it wouldn't be delivered, estimated delivery until a month after I gave birth, which Pottery Barn and West Elm always have delays. <laughs> so, and I know your baby doesn't necessarily sleep in the crib to start, but it was like everything. The changing table, the drawer, like nothing would have been here. And I know you get into like nesting season, whatever, right before you give birth. So I think that would have driven me nuts. And I'm already a planner. I want that room to be done before going to give birth. What are you most looking forward to being a parent, mom and dad? There's, I can't, you can't pinpoint one thing. Just being a dad? Yeah. I've been excited to be a dad for a while. So the whole thing. My parents have always told, talked about this and many adults who have kids is the love you have for your child is just different. Yeah. So I'm excited to experience that. Yeah, I agree. Did sex drive decrease in the first trimester? Yes. I think it, if you feel horrible, there's no way it wouldn't affect your sex life. Ooh, this is something we haven't talked about. Do you want to go on a baby moon? If so, where? Of course. <laughs> any any excuse to vacation. Yeah, right. Um, somewhere easy in the States where we can just go sit by the pool, relax before yeah. before the time comes. I mean, for I mean, honestly, probably just like Florida. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be in the spring. Yeah, when we were in Hawaii the first Hawaii time, just too far. it's too far. I was shocked yeah. at the amount of like very pregnant women there yeah. because it's just such a long flight. Well, if you're in Florida, if you're in California, which a lot of the yeah, population very true. is five yeah. hours, it's five hours to yeah, that's not that bad. Hawaii, it's five hours to Florida. But still, so, I mean, also when we were there for our honeymoon, it was the hottest part of the season. I was dying outside. I couldn't imagine yeah. how hot they were. So yeah, I, probably somewhere in Florida, but Florida, we, South Carolina, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, how long have you known? Found out in Utah. Found out. We found that one October. Was 18th, I want to say. Yeah, when I was four. I did not know how they calculated how far along you were. They calculated from, I just assumed it was like when you first started trying, but it's from the first day of your last period. I was all thrown off. <laughs> were you scared when you started trying how long it would take? I don't know about scared, anxious a little bit for sure. Yeah, that we was. Got, we got lucky. Yeah, that's the other question. There's so many questions. How long did it take? We we conceived the, our first month of trying. Yeah. So we were very was... planned out about you know when we were gonna try mm -hmm. every night or each night it was every other night. Yeah, I was like, cause you ovulate in the middle of your cycle. So that's what my doctor told me. I don't know how much detail you guys want, but she said rather than most people will try like every day when you're ovulating, but it's best if you like. Don't do anything leading up to ovulation so you have like all the eggs and sperm built up and then every other day. So in case you ovulate a little earlier than you thought or a little later, you're catching it on either side. So that's also why I'd recommend talking to your doctor. It just, it does, you at least know you're doing everything you can. And then if it doesn't happen, then that's, you know, then you have another conversation. But we come from fertile families <laughs> so that may yeah. play part but yeah we got very lucky it was the, the first time we tried yeah Ooh, what number grandbaby will this be for both sets of parents the number one for my for my number one for my parents yeah number one for my dad and number five for my mom so his mom was struggling trying to think of what she wanted to be called because that's like that's a big decision so they're gonna be nana and papa my dad yeah my parents side and i think my my mom's already grandma so that was established i think my dad's just going to be grandpa i grew up with a Classic. nana and papa and a grandma and grandpa so yeah i think it's easy for a kid to like then very you easily distinguish who they are yeah did you get comments on your body changing over the past couple months no and i don't know how <laughs> people have said stuff now but in the when it was going on no because it didn't really look that different until the last couple yeah. weeks he noticed I got done doing a balance try on like a balance. I came down in a sports bra and he was like, 
your oh, boobs. Oh, you're like, oh, your boobs. Her <laughs> boobs definitely got bigger. I noticed one day. He was yeah. like, do you think people are going to notice? And I'm like, well, I didn't think so until now. Now I'm like self-conscious. I was worried because he was like, you're <laughs> the nicest way possible. And I didn't take offense to this, but he's like, you like, you always say that you're, you have like, you're flat chested. Like you're known for being the flat chested girl. You've got cleavage right now. And I was like, you're well. not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, but and then no one ended up saying anything. How do you think YouTube business job as an influencer will change once the baby's born? I mean, I guess we'll just kind of navigate it when we get there. Business-wise, YouTube-wise, I don't think much will change. Maybe my frequency will go down a little bit, but like I already share my life. A baby content. Yeah. That'll be yeah, fun, it'll right? be it'll be definitely way more family but like that's I feel like my channel has evolved into that as is it's just our current version of family which is the cats and us <laughs> so there will just be a little human and there will be a puppy oh yeah except it'll be fully We're trained like hopefully three and a half weeks away from a puppy someone asked how we plan on handling that <laughs> we we purposely are getting a dog before we have it fully trained and I'm sure it will still be a little bit of a hassle when the baby's here, but I think it will be good to kind of kind of ease us into what a baby sleep schedule, aka not a schedule, is going to be like. So we'll see. What's your ideal birth? Epidural, natural? I assume you don't have any preference to this. I want you to be comfortable. Yeah. So I don't. I this is still really early on. I won't have like a birth plan just because. Based off of what I grew up hearing, my mom with all four pregnancies, nothing went as planned for her. So just <laughs> whatever needs to happen for the baby and me to be healthy and like safe. But based off of talking to people, I have a feeling I will get an epidural because I have nothing to prove with like my toughness. <laughs> and yeah, I, I think I would much rather be more comfortable if I can. But who knows? Maybe that'll change. Yeah, you should have heard her, our friends who has the five kids, talk about her pregnancy. She absolutely loved the whole thing. Oh, yeah. If anyone is, like, scared of pregnancy, they just need yeah. to talk to her. She yeah. She's like, I loved it. I loved being in the hospital. Everyone's taking care of you. Get that epidural. You've yeah. got nothing to prove to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless unless there's cause to concern, like if you hear from your doctor about any complications yeah, exactly. you may have with an epidural, then fine. But if yeah. not, I would say take it. Yeah. Because okay, why so. not? Yeah. If, if you don't think there's going to be much concern for, but you know, there are. So we'll see. Do you think the cats can tell you're pregnant? I don't think so yet. No, I do think Lily stupid. will pick up. Just kidding. I do think really Lily are, will but... pick up on it because she was pregnant once, and I just I feel like she's gonna know. And once again, she lays on my stomach a bunch, so as soon as something starts moving in there, I think she's definitely gonna know. Okay, but how do we know they know? If she's more like loving towards me. She's always loving towards <laughs> you. So. If she's like extra clingy, I don't know. I, no. I feel like Layla's been extra clingy recently. Um, last question: What Bomar part? products are you still taking while pregnant currently 20 weeks i'm taking everything i was taking before except instead of the multi multivitamin i take the prenatal so i take fish oil probiotic prenatal greens like everything i was taking i did take all of it in to my first appointment and showed the doctor so they looked over all of it and told me like the you know if the do dosages were correct for what i need and Instead of taking like the three fish oil pills, I only take one or two depending on what I'm eating that day. But I would just ask your doctor. I literally, I took a full purse in of all my supplements. <laughs> and I, so she was looking over the back yeah. of everything and I was like, sorry, this is kind of a lot. She's like, no. She's like, I, I love when people bring stuff in. So we know what you're taking. And if there's ever any like issues or anything, it's easier to pinpoint what might be causing that or if you're, in, you're deficient in something. So yeah. I have to pee. Okay, bye. So, see you guys. Um, obviously, that is it for the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Thank you for asking all the questions. And thank you for all of the love on Instagram, on YouTube. I did already share, obviously, our, like, finding out video, how we told our family. In the first vlog I posted where I was openly talking about being pregnant, I did also share the little updates I recorded at the end of that, just, like, how I was feeling during the first trimester and... 
you guys have all been so supportive and it means the world and it's also so nice to know that you're not alone and that's also the cool thing and i've always known this but because we're all like aging together obviously it's not like i'm just getting older and everyone who's following me is staying the same all of our lives are evolving together and it's amazing how many of you have reached out and you're like oh my gosh i'm pregnant for the first time too or we're actually about to start trying so i think this next chapter is personally going to be the most exciting one yet on youtube in our personal life i I'm just already so thankful for this community and I feel like it's always had a positive effect on my life and I think going into being a parent and just through the pregnancy, I think this community is just going to get even stronger and even more positive and I just really look forward to that and I'm super thankful. So thank you so much again and I will see you in the next